Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Fleetwood Town against Oxford United vlog and I cannot wait for a Fleetwood game. New manager, new bounce, new glasses, hopefully a new Fleetwood. Oxford are a good side with some good players, the likes of Ruben Rodriguez, Thornley, obviously Harris is out today, Lee's out today as well, but they've still got a very good squad, Brannigan as well is a very, very good player, um, I really like Liam Manning, what he did at MK Dons was phenomenal, obviously we actually did get Liam Manning the chop last year by beating them 2-1 at Stadium MK, sacked the next day as well, so it's going to be an interesting game today, they sit just outside the playoffs, we sit five points adrift after six games. So we have to put that right and have to start winning games of football. But again, if you're new to the channel, please like, please subscribe. Over 65% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed yet. So subscribe down below, please like. That'd be massively appreciated. Can we go for 200 likes again on this vlog? That'd be uh, unreal. Let's get down to Ivory and come on the cods. So we are here with our mate, Jack Ward, the football podcast before the game, doing something a bit different today. We're going, we're going virtually because Jack, our mate, is at university, like myself, down in London. Jack, Oxford against Fleetwood tomorrow. Ah, well, Fleetwood against Oxford, should I say? What's your thoughts on the game, and and also what's your thoughts on Oxford so far this season? I'm really, I'm really happy about the start of the season. I think you know, if you, the people I imagine watching your your shows and your videos will also be a fan of Tlop as well, and, and they'll know that I've been banging on a little bit too much about Oxford United. But no, we've had a really promising start, and I think international break was a little bit frustrating because we got our our first home defeat uh, to Port Vale, and then of course we haven't played for two weeks, so that's been a little bit frustrating. I've been itching to to get back, and I am nervous about the game. I really, really am because. You know, new manager bouts with yourself at Fleetwood. And I, it's got a, I'm not going to give away my score predictions, but it's got a tight, edgy game written all over it. They say a week is a long time in football. Well, two weeks ago, we we went to Charlton Saturday afternoon. We were 1 0 up, looking good. What followed was two Charlton goals, a defeat. Scott Brown sacked, what, 18 hours later. Uh, Lee Johnson come in as his uh, replacement. Um, again, the former Sunderland, Bristol City, Barnsley, Oldham and uh, Hibernian boss. Come I'll go for three quick fire questions. First up, mm. where are Oxford United going to finish this season? Well, um, I've just, like I said to you before we click record, I've just uploaded or about to upload my updated predictions. I've, I've snuck them in. I've snuck them into the top six just a little bit. I don't want to, I said in the video as well, I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to get too excited. As much as I'm happy to joke and laugh with you boys on a, on a Sunday on TLOP, I want to also be fully, fully aware yeah. that there's a long way to go. But yeah, I've just got us in the top six. I'm encouraged. And all I'm, all I'm doing, Nappers, is just reflecting on what I've seen so far. But a lot can change. Absolutely. Where did you see Fleetwood finishing? You're not going to be happy about this, Nappers. I did redo my predictions and I, I've got, I have got you in that bottom four. I have got you in okay. that bottom four. I don't think you'll be, I, I think you'll understand. You'll be upset, but I think you'll understand why I've done that. Yeah. Um, but a new manager, anything can happen. Um, I, I think it will be tight. It was manager. Uh, I've got new glasses. I'm hoping Fleetwood have a new result and have a new, you know, kickstart our season. Obviously, we've not had a game for two weeks. We've got a new manager, a lot has changed. It almost feels like a fresh start and hopefully that can kick us up that table. Five points to drift, has to start today against a very good, resolute, hard to break down, a very good passing and a good philosophy in Oxford United. We have a oh, Yeah, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one with, with my head and 1-0 and with, my, with my heart. I've sort of got a way around that question now, because hopefully you don't mind. Mate, I, I'm the king of doing that. I, I, I've been called a manager basically recently for the way I answer questions, but I'll take it. <laughs> Wardy, mate, thanks, mate. All, all the best for the game and for the rest of the season. And obviously, you, we mate. work together on the T-Lot where you can go and check it out. The link will be in the description. And also go and subscribe to Jack as well. Jack, thanks very much for, uh, thanks very much for joining me, mate, and uh, giving up some of your free time. Thanks, Nappers. Appreciate it. Right, we have a good record against Oxford from previous years. Most recently, not too great as well. Um, again, uh, we drew there last season at their place and they came to Highbury and beat us in the last minute. Carl Robinson meant at the time uh, winning by two goals to one. He was rumoured to come to Fleetwood, but it's not. It's Lee Johnson's Cod Army for the time being. For Oxford, Negru comes out, but still Bowden up there with Rodriguez. 
um, you know, Brannigan and you know those types of players, they're they are really good players and it's gonna be a really tough game today. They saw the really good allocation, they saw about three, four hundred tickets for a long way, eight hour round trip. They've been here what, seven, eight, nine, possibly even ten times now. You know, fair play. Nine. <laughs> Well, Brown's out, the back five's gone. 4-4-2 four, four, as you like. Um, Brew, uh, Mayer as the wingers, Bella, Robertson, midfield two, Marion Stockley up front, Armstrong, Armstrong CJ as the, the full-backs. Um, again, a total hold eight as at the back, at the back two centre-halves and links and goal. I'm, I'm actually quite you know, pleased with that, going to the back four. Hopefully we just we get a positive result today. It's it. Oh. Wow, what a goal. Stanley Mills take a foul. Brilliant finish into the far top corner. On loan from Everton. Scored just recently. Uh, as well, I think it's away at Barnsley. He's a, he's a really, really talented player. And again, the Fleetwood High have started well under a new manager. Again, not really been much in this game. He, he, they've been kind of not done anything in the game. We've not really done anything, but probably been the best of the two sides. And Stanley Mills from about 20, 25 yards out. Kills one into the far top corner. You can always see Brilliant finish of Fleetwood again. But with all to do is Fleetwood Town nil, Oxford United won. It really does feel like a kick in the teeth, really, when again you feel so positive and something like that happens. It's a really, really good goal. And credit was going to Stanley Mills and Oxford for, for creating it. Brilliant, you know, just to attempt it. I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal effort and a great goal. But again, we've got to find a way into the game because we can't do it. It's moment in time. And, that's why we're only on one point after these seven games as it stands and it, it, it gets more worrying because we are five points adrift as it stands and we're only what seven games in but five points adrift after seven games it continues to go that way we're going to be in deep trouble well again they get a corner I think it's Brown the left back with a flick and it just goes through a, a ton of bodies and hits the post and quite easily could have been 2-0 he kind of never looked in but then looked in the last minute Got to creep back into this game sooner rather than late and stop them and get the opportunities they've been getting. Oh. At the moment, it feels very Sunday League vibe where you've not won for a long, long time. You know, we've not won this season. Void of confidence. You feel all right. You can see that first goal and the confidence has zoned out of us. And they, they've kind of looked at that and gone up a gear and probably could have had a session really. But we just got to get back into this game, keep it a 1-0, don't let them have really any chance on our goal and get back into this game. We've got a front two to hit, hit them. Oh! Again, it's the second ball. We get a you know a soft free kick to give away. The free kick comes in. We get it away. The second ball falls to Billy Bowden. Obviously, really good at Bristol Road. He did quite work out at Preston. So really good strike. He's kind of in that central zone uh, without the absence of uh, Harris up front. It's a really good finish. And our um, 27, 28 minutes with two 0 down. Maybe Brown wasn't the problem after all. Seeing this. It, 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 it hurts at the moment and 
everything that could go against us is going against us, but for good reason. We just don't do the basics right enough, and the other teams just latch onto a bit of quality here and there. And that's what Oxford have got. They've got a really good team, a team that'll be up there, managed by a good manager in Liam Manning, a great philosophy. Everything is right there, football at the moment. That wasn't there six, twelve months ago, but it's there now. And he kind of feels their revival is going on, and they are a good side. These lot. And, our season will be defined as playing Oxford at home, but the next three games are massive for us. It's it. Oh! What you're seeing is what you get with Liam Manning inside, they pop it about, they move side to side, move it forward, play with a purpose and really look like they can hurt you. You know, and they've done that Stanley Mills and you know Bowden with two really good finishes and really, really done well. Well this is not good at all. There's no real tempo, no real drive to go and get back into the game and just very flat at the moment and kind of reflects where we are on the table and one point from the first, what, six and a half games. Not good, not good. Things have to change. We've changed manager, things have to change on that pitch drastically. I've been making two, if not three, changes at half time. And it's CJ's Groom to right back, groom to right back. It's eight. <laughs> Well, that first half, probably maybe if we'd have conceded a third and got a man sent off and, you know, done something else, couldn't have got anything worse. But 2 0 down, the atmosphere has gone to flat, everyone's positive vibes have gone, and this is a real complete away performance from Oxford. To score two goals at the point of the half, to kind of get the, you know, the upbeat of the new management fleet with away, proper performance. Well, what a statement that is, half time, pathetic, spineless, so easy to play to, nothing going forward. Really, really bad in that first half, completely for half, every player really, the first time in a number of weeks, or well, two weeks at least. But he's made three changes, Shamanga's come on, Simons has come on, and Graydon's come on, Stockley's gone off, Armstrong's gone off, and Robinson has gone on. That is what I want to see, a bit of, a bit of fight in the second half and have a go because I don't mind losing, but I want to go down with, with a fight. We haven't done that so far today. Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh, come on! start what is 3-0 now Kyle Edwards with another screamer well he scored two screamers two Stanley Mills Kyle Edwards and a very good goal in Billy Bowden and it's 3-0 to Oxford life just keeps getting keeps bringing us down and football keeps bringing us down we don't get close out and it's just that little bit of a difference at the moment they can pull off an absolute worldie and we can't score from two yards out that's the difference and it's 3-0 to the, to the boys in yellow I'm not saying we've been easy to play against, but they're passing it around. Like right? they've had three or four pints of pizza before the game, just passing it around with a club so effortlessly, like so so well. And Tyler Goodwin comes on, also known as the Jack Wall Football Podcast, and got his face smiling and gleaming at Mr. Malik way for that. Um, and this could end four or five. We've just got to keep the damage down now, and this could end damaging really. 3-0 in the Manchester's game isn't a good one at all. We've been bad today. We started off all right, but this, they've been brilliant in what they've done. It's a proper away performance where they haven't shone, they've looked bright, they've looked, you know, looked all right going forward. They haven't created bundles of chances, but they scored two worldies, a decent goal battle. 
not what I conceded. Real, really, really good away performance from them, and that's why they're so successful um, in League One and why they're going to be up there this season. <laughs> Well, full time Fleetwood lose the three goals to nil. Two one the goals are a really good goal by Billy Bode and a really good performance on the road for Oxford United. I thought a performance that would take them back into the top six. Um, you know, a really good side this lot, good manager. For us, that's not good enough. We've got to be better. Kind of gave up after every goal. We had a bit of fighters after every goal. And as, as the game went on, we just lost confidence. Well, I'm losing the will and I hate losing games of football and straining at this moment in time. And, We've just got to get a win, whether it where how it comes, I don't know. We've hit the post twice in this game. Again, it's just these fine minds that aren't going our way, but you can't keep relying on walking. Thanks very much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe. Get on the road to 12,000 subscribers, and I hope we get on on the road to subscribe at least too.